G'day Patriots, I've got a very important message for you. On Saturday, the 5th of November, there's a very important rally that will be held at Andrew Park, Eltham. The rally's being called because there are many people in the community, especially in Eltham and throughout Australia, that don't support the government's calls to resettle uh, refugees, especially Muslim refugees in aged care. And really, it doesn't matter you know, what background or what religion they are, refugees should not be settled in an aged care facility. It's really concerning what St Vincent's Care has done, uh, you know, sort of working with the government, the state government in Victoria, working with the federal government. We know that there's 12,000 Syrian and Iraqi refugees coming to Australia. And look, you know, you don't have to be an Einstein to work out that most of these refugees will be Muslim. Our UN refugee program or humanitarian intake is made up mainly of Muslims. The persecuted Christians in the Middle East won't go into the UN camps because why would they want to associate with a persecutor? And it's been, it's, that, that sort of evidence is quite well known that the Christians are shunned. That's why the Russians have their own refugee camps in Syria and the Russians only take uh, Christian uh, Syrian refugees. But these refugees that are coming in, they will be Muslims, the vast majority. We know the mayor of, uh, of the local council, uh, Mayor Bronnie Hatham, has said she signed the refugee, Welcome Refugee Zone Declaration and she said, we need to make a commitment to religious diversity. Now I wonder why she would say, the mayor uh, of Nilambic Council would say, that we have to make a commitment to religious diversity. Oh, surprise, surprise. So, you know, they've already told us, the people that are coming, it's very important that we have a large number of Aussie patriots down there. Uh, you know, I know there's been a bit of infighting, there's always gonna be a bit of infighting with some of the patriotic groups, it's human nature. But come down and support us because even though Party for Freedom is holding this rally, this is a rally for all Australians. We'd like to see a coalition of patriots down there. Uh, everybody's welcome. The left is mobilising. We know what they're like. They're calling for violence against us. We won't tolerate this bad behaviour. But we've got two weeks to go. And over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be releasing some interesting facts around these traitors, traitors that have sort of worked uh, together uh, to sort of you know, bring these refugees in, uh, welcome them, uh, and also sort of using our taxpayers' money. We know from the federal government that there's $900 million being set aside for this one-off placement of 12,000 uh, refugees uh, from the Middle East. But that doesn't include our other humanitarian intake, which is 14,750 per annum and going to rise to, to 19,000. And both Labor and Liberal have agreed to this. We're being swamped by third world genetics. Uh, you can't sustain a country when you bring in people from vastly different cultures uh, and, and different races and expect them all just to happily get on. And we know that 85% of them end up on welfare or are still on welfare after five years of residence in Australia. We cannot afford this. Our elderly, their safety is paramount in those sort of latter years of their life. The elderly are going to be exposed to a hostile culture uh, you know, th there's nothing positive for the local community, uh, and we do need low, uh, you know, low cost sort of aged care for Australians. Uh, that facility there was bequeathed, uh, and and the person who gave it to, to, to I think it was to, to Mission Beat was running it sort of thing for many years. Um, there was a promise to keep that as an aged care facility. Now it hasn't, and when it went it was sold to St Vincent's Care. Last year they said, under the proviso, that we want you to maintain this as aged care. And we know what Richard Wynne fast-tracked it, uh, you know, the sort of change in the local planning scheme to accommodate uh, this sort of terrible development of accepting refugees in this aged care facility in Eltham. But more important, importantly, I'd love to see you down there. Please come down to Andrews Park on the, uh, Andrew Park, sorry, on the 5th of November. 2016, it's a couple of weeks ago, so yeah, please make an effort, spread the news. This is really for all of us, it's going to affect all of us because we know that getting this one through, this ridiculous plan that the government is sort of pushing through, they will go to other aged care facilities and beautiful areas, nice pristine areas, and it's funny, isn't it? They've gone to an area like Eltham where it's 
majority white, you know, wouldn't the government just love to just absolutely swamp it, swamp it with Muslims, swamp it with Africans, you know, have some diversity. Um, it's not going to sort of, the local community, honestly, are going to suffer. But the lefties, they're too mentally retarded to understand the negative consequences of bringing these people into the community there. Our elderly need us, the aged care, the guardians of the aged care need to be there on the 5th. So please join us at the rally, but there'll be lots more videos coming up. We'll be exposing these cretins, these traitors of the Australian people. See you on the 5th of November.